Hello and welcome to the school year's final Southern Maryland Weekend Review edition for Friday, June 2nd. SOMD Wire is a partnership between the Southern Maryland News and the Forest Career and Technology Center's TV video production program. I'm Dom. And I'm Silva. And here's what we have for you this week. State and local leaders along with representatives of the Piscataway Indian Nation gathered at Piscataway Park on May 25th to celebrate the establishment of the Southern Maryland National Heritage Area. The Piscataway Indian Nation and its customs were recognized in the feasibility study for what is now in the Southern Maryland National Heritage Area. The Piscataway people are largely acknowledged as having been first to colonize what is now Southern Maryland, according to a copy of the report published on November 17, 2021. The chief of the Piscataway Nation, Mark Tayak, remarked that the ceremony held great significance for the tribe. Numerous educators oppose the significant revisions to the Calvert County's public schools policy on choosing and purchasing library resources. At the county school board's work session on May 25th, comments were made that were against the suggested adjustments. The revisions, proposed by first year board member John Post, called for the appointment of four committees to vet the materials, where one of the panels is dubbed the Family, Life and Human Sexuality Committee. The post claims that the committee is mandated by the state law. The policy change also calls for various subcommittees to be formed. However, a Northern High School t teacher, Sinclair, labeled the proposed changes absurd and added that Post's proposal is about removal. Just past Gale Bailey Elementary School, school's parking lot, is Dogwood Trail, a half mile trail into the woods behind the school. The trail first opened in 1970, but it has become unusable due to lack of maintenance over the years. However, the school hopes to revitalize the overgrown path with the help of the $2,500 grant from Forever Maryland. Georgia Green, a special education teacher at the school, said, We want to activate our in immediate school community to help revitalize a trail that was established some time ago. The St. Mary's County Board of Education discussed financial matters during its May 24th meeting in Leonardtown. The board is now continuing to work on fine-tuning and adopting its fiscal 2024 budget. This will be sent to the county commissioners for final approval on June 13. Assistant Superintendent of Fiscal Services and Human Resources, Tammy McCourt, stated, We've certainly engaged in a lot of conversations. Now turning to sports. This past Saturday, athletes and onlookers couldn't have asked for a better setting for the Maryland State Track and Field Championships. This was held at the Prince George's Sports and Learning Complex, where numerous runners from the SMAC thrived in both the early and late sessions. During that event, the more prominent schools from the county competed in the 4A-3A state championships. Following the 1A State Baseball Championship that was eventually won by Clear Spring in 11 innings on Saturday, the extended wait for the Patuxent High School baseball team to seek the 2A State title at the Regency Furniture Stadium invariably proved to be in vain. Patuxent, 20-2, had arrived at the same venue last year with an blemished record only to be denied a perfect title bid at generally inopportune time. So this spring, the Panthers focused centered around the unfinished business of their prior campaign. That's all we have for you on the Friday, June 2nd edition of SOMD Wire. This news brief has been provided by the Southern Maryland News. For more details, visit SOMDnews.com. On a more personal note, this is the final episode of SOMD Wire before schools start summer break and our show goes on summer hiatus. SOMD Wire will return in the early part of next school year with a new crew. And it's been an honor and a privilege to produce this news brief each week. We hope you have a fantastic summer. I'm Dom. And I'm Silva. Signing off.